what's up everyone it is your uh, friend traveling from place to place you know from one cosmic end to another you know uh, the comic outlaw and we're gonna do a new segment on my show it's called mixtape madness now to explain to your kids a mixtape back in the day they used to hear songs on tapes little small devices they used to have songs on tape <laughs> um, and uh, there was such a thing as a mixtape now you only had so many minutes on this mixtape uh, 90 for the big ones sometimes 120 believe it or not and you can record whatever you want and in the spirit of that we're gonna be doing my own mixtape madness now the first band that I'm gonna do obviously is ACDC one of my favorite, favorite bands. Oh man, I could literally do an anthology of my top 25 ACDC songs, but since we're gonna keep to the rules of mixtape madness, where you can only record like 12, 13 songs, depending on how size, how big they were, and because you know, you ran out of tape, there was no MP3 players back then. So instead of this being a top 10, I'm going to put the songs in order of how I would have liked to listen to them on a tape. Okay? Just so you know. And yes, I'm using 13 this time because, well, it's ACDC, damn it. And they just deserve 13 songs. So, here we go. Now, the first one that I would have on my play track is Back in Black. That'd be the first song that I want to hear as I hit the streets, putting that in my old Walkman. Oh yeah, so Walkman was a thing that you used to put the tape in to listen to. So, little education for you guys that don't know. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up on your phone. So, Back in Black. Wonderful song. Um, wonderful album. It'd be the first song that I'd put in. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Love it. Song number two that I would have on the list is Dirty Deeds done dirt cheap um, it's one of the older songs they did it's a wonderful song <laughs> and um, I just love that dirt deeds done dirt cheap and um, I believe a wrestler uses that it's one of his moves although I can't remember his name Dean Ambrose yeah cold again and uh, another song number three that I have on my jamming list is uh, Money Talks <laughs> I love this song um, I think it kind of describes how certain women are very materialistic and how certain people can be very materialistic and how money just makes the world go around. And um, I had someone tell me that money was the root of all evil and they had really rich parents that were taking care of all their lives. And I said there, I looked at her, I was like, lady, I used to eat welfare peanut butter. So thick that you couldn't even spread it on a piece of bread. So if you're telling me that money's the root of all evil, then write me a check for $1 million and call me Lucifer, baby. <laughs> yep. So you got to listen to that money talks. Another one, you shoot me all night long. Anybody that's listened to ACDC, that's a classic. I mean, even if you haven't, that's one of the most popular songs. It has a nice little beat to it. it. has that boogie, bluesy, boogie, dirty kind of sound that I do love. Now, this is song, Stiff Up the Lip. It was made in the like uh, late 90s, I think. Um, it was from their album, Stiff Up the Lip. And I thought it was cool that ACDC was one of the first bands to appear on TU, uh, what was it? Total Request Live with Carson Daly. Because up until that point, it was just pop singers and rappers. And I think it was Brian Johnson said, I'm glad that we're here in the hollow halls of pop, making some noise. And I thought that was so cool. It's a good song. has that classic boogie-woogie feel to it. Um, this other song that's coming up is If You Want Blood. And uh, this was no, most notably played on the Dukes of Hazard movie they made a while back. It's a fun song. It's kind of like a balls-of-the-wall song. And uh, that's just right up ACDC's alley. It's like, if you want blood. And I do have some of these songs saved on the playlist on my, my songs thing. 
on my webpage if you want to check out a few of them I have a few of them there I rotate my music I like different stuff so I add different things you know whatever moves me at the time I usually add it um, great little ditty I mean it's one of those unknown songs by ACDC but I just happen to love it and let's see we should be flipping on the side no Thunderstruck will be our last one to close it out and yes um Thunderstruck's been a tad overplayed by the Iron Man, Deadpool. Basically, Marvel's played the hell out of that movie, including Daddy's Home. Like the, the song has literally appeared everywhere. I mean, it seems to be the song, the go-to song now. Whenever they need like a dope introduction, they're like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> So now we're gonna flip the tape over, and we're gonna go on our other side because you have to flip the tape over to listen to it our side B would be Highway to Hell a great song to start off with um, oh, I'm done by Bon Scott and it was Bon Scott and Brian Johnson uh, Johnson was the one that took over most notably in the Back in Black albums um, both great singers and it was one of the few bands that survived the transition of having a singer pass away and then being replaced by another singer not too many bands are able to pull that off um, now this one is just pure childhood fun right here uh, who made who and I just love listening to this song I, I'm I'm a mark for that maximum overdrive movie I don't care if Stephen King didn't like it and coincidentally it's the movie that he directed I, I loved it when I was a kid the Green Goblin truck everything the soundtrack was done by AC freaking DC I mean, great, like, great movie, like, totally 80s cheese. You get an opportunity to see it, see that movie. The song's really cool. Um, another song that I would have on here, I would kind of slow it down with that. For those about to rock. This song has been played. This is one of the closing songs that ACDC used to do. I've had, I've had a few of their live albums, and every time they do this song, it just... It's slow, but it has that balls to the wall, especially in the live albums where they do that 21 gun salute and the cannon goes off. And yes, I'm keeping vague about this because if you don't know who this band is, I want you to get up off your ass. I want you to get on YouTube. I want you to flip on your little phone. And I want you to start looking through these songs because you're just missing out. You're just missing out, man. Now, another one that I would like to talk about is Hell's Bells because, you know, you want to raise the tempo a little bit. I love Hell's Bells. Great song. Satan's coming for you. Hell's Bells. You know, it just has that balls to the wall. I don't give a shit rock and roll attitude that made ACDC what they are. And, of course, another song would be TNT. TNT. I'm gonna fight. TNT. Better win the fight. Mm. God, every time I hear that song, you just want to get up and do something, man. You just want to get up and travel the multiverse, rob a bank with Captain Cold. Like, seriously, if I was robbing a, and I have done this, if you're robbing a bank with Captain Cold, I highly recommend listening to that song. Whew. Especially when you got the Flash chasing after you. You get away from him, song's blasting. Um, now, the last one that I would close this with is uh, Rock and Roll Ain't No uh, Noise Pollution. And yes, I know it's uh, slower from the ACDC songs. It has more bougie kind of tone to it, but I just love how dirty it sounds. And it's true. Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution. And Rock and Roll Ain't Never Gonna Die. Just like the legacy of this band, ACDC, is never gonna die. So, Thieves and Hoodlums, cooks and Crooks and Criminals, my beloved fans out there, my outlaws, that is my first mixtape madness, ACDC. <laughs> and I checked them out, y'all. They're worth a listen to. Still one of the biggest bands, one of the big influential bands. Uh, I bet you couldn't walk down the street without seeing someone wearing an ACDC t-shirt. Still, their influence has carried on over the years, and it's sad that they had to retire a few years back due to Brian Johnson's hearing but the the scar they left on the rock and roll industry will never be forgotten this is the comic outlaw and i'll catch you on the flip side yeah